Good morning, students. Today's topic is English honeycomb poem, The Shed. This poem is about a shed. A shed is a structure with roof, which we can use for several purposes. For example, garden storage, keeping animals, we can create a workshop, and for many other things. So let's get started with the poem. The Shed. It's a very simple poem. It tells us that we should not believe in the baseless stories about ghosts. Because these are the stories created by those people who want some benefit. People who want their own benefit. That's why they create such stories. Let's read it. There is a shed at the bottom of our garden with a spider's web hanging across the door. The hinges are rusty and creak in the wind. When I'm in bed and lie and I listen, I will open the door one day. Here, in this stanza, poet is describing about the shed. There is a shed situated at the bottom. Here bottom means at the end of the garden. And just because no one visits the shed, no one cleans it, it is very dirty. And that's why there are spider's web hanging across the door. There are so many spider's web there because no one cleans or visits there. The hinges are rusty and creak in the wind. Here hinges means joints, joints of doors or windows. Just like human bodies have joints, doors and windows also have joints. So here the poet says that when the wind blows, the creaky sound of these rusty hinges bothers him. It draws his attention. It makes him feel scared and he starts thinking about the shed again. And whenever he's relaxing, he always thinks and gets curious about what is inside the shed. He always wanted to visit the shed. So he decided that one day he will definitely open the door and visit inside to figure out what is there. Let's move on to the next stanza of the poem. There is a dusty old window around at the side with three cracked panes of glass. I often think there is someone staring at me each time that I pass. I will peep through that window one day. Here in this stanza, again Poet is describing about the shed along with his own feelings. He says that the shed is too dusty. That means it is full of dust. There is a dusty old window there. Here, panes means a single sheet of glass, of door or window, which is divided into sections. So here, three sections of the glass of the window were broken. I often think there is someone staring at me each time that I pass. So every time when the poet passes through that window, he always gets the impression that someone is staring at him. That means... Someone is looking at him intentionally and he always feels scared about it. But still, as you can see, he hasn't given up. So again, he decided that one day he will peep through that window. Peep through means to look at it. So he decided again to visit the chair one day and peep through the window, look through the window inside. He really wanted to know what is inside. Is there really someone who is staring at him or not? Third stanza is, my brother says there is a ghost in the shed who hides under the rotten floorboards. And if I ever dare to step foot inside, he'll jump out and chop off my head. But I will take a peek one day. In this stanza, Poet is also describing about his brother. His brother says that there is a ghost inside the shed. 
basically his brother is trying to make him feel scared he also says that the ghost is hiding under the rotten floorboards here rotten means something which is spoiled broken in a bad condition and floorboards means the floor which is made of wooden so as per the poet's brother the ghost is hiding under the floorboard and if the poet will try to step foot inside that means if he tries to get inside the ghost will come out of the floorboard jump on him and chop off his head that means cut off his head but there is one thing we need to notice here that after all these scary stories as well boy is not scared he again decides to take a peek one day that means he again decides to look inside the shed or maybe visit some day so that he can fulfill his curiosity in the last stanza poet is describing about his feelings and his determination towards visiting the shed i know that there isn't really a ghost my brother tells lies to keep the shed for his den there isn't anyone staring or making strange noises and the spider has been gone from his web since i don't know when i will go into that shed one day soon but not just yet in this stanza poet actually reveals all his emotions as you can see poet is quite firm that there is no ghost inside the window inside the shed according to him his brother lies why so that he can keep the shed for his own purposes because his brother didn't want to share the shed with him there isn't more there isn't anyone staring or making strange noises boy believes that there is no one inside the shed no one staring at him and there is no one who is making noises in fact he also believes that there is no spider or its web at all and he thinks that spider has gone from his web since a very long time basically he knows that spiders are not there inside the shed i will go into that shed one day soon but not just yet and he thinks that spider has gone from his web since a very long time basically he knows that spiders are not there inside the shed i will go into that shed one day soon but not just yet so again he confirms that he will surely visit the shed one day but not just yet this means he will go some day inside the shed he is definitely planning to go but he is not ready right now he said that immediately he doesn't have any plans to go but yes in near future he will visit the shed one day so this was the poem let's move on towards a difficult word which we have already studied let's just have a recap of all those words shed as i said an old store house which we can use for several purposes hinges are the joints these are the joints of doors and windows just like human bodies have joints windows and doors also have joints with which we open and close them rusty means having a rust on it creak a harsh weird sound dusty means covered with dust cracked broken panes as i said window panes staring looking intently when you are staring at someone when you are intentionally looking at someone peep look through ghost spirit floorboards wooden floor to set foot means to step in to step inside chop off means cut or separate take a peek again look in then a place to hide this was the poem for the day students i hope you are clear with it i'll be uploading an assignment on the erp for the same i would like all my students to complete the assignments positively thank you have a nice day